All right, so I told you guys a while back I was gonna do this. Um, I did the 24 hour experiment uh, heating my house only, but let's see how long it'll last heating uh, my house and my boiler. So I let this go while I was at work. Um, pretty much down to nothing but coals. load that right up uh, with ash hardwood and I got the shop warmed up here while I was at work today so this is at 50 degrees which is what I you know when I'm heating it I try to maintain it at and we'll see how much faster that burns down on an, but it's gonna be about an average of 15 degrees over the next 24 hours so it's gonna be a little bit colder than when I did this last time when I was heating just the house but you know I'm never gonna probably have uh, the perfect uh, scenario so hopefully nobody's a scientist out there and knocks me for that but let's get that thing fill filled to the brim with hardwood and uh, we'll let it go for 24 hours here and see where we're at well Maybe not 24 hours, probably not 24 hours. Pretty damn full. If I had some little pieces, I'd stick in there, but um, most everything's kind of too long to fit in those little gaps. So now we wait in a nice warm house or a nice warm shop. One of the two. Well, I filled that up last night around 4:30. Uh, PM when I got out of work. It is now 7:30 in the morning, so it's been about 15 hours. And uh, let's see what we got. Temps at about 160, so that fan's about to kick off. Um, yeah, we can leave it and see how long it'll go. As long as I got coals, I can throw wood on it and get it back going. So, close it back up and check on it in a couple hours. So this is, you know, quite a bit of space to be heating up to 50 degrees or holding at 50 degrees. Um, it's R19 throughout the whole thing, walls, uh, the insulation in the rafters. Um, you know, it's all pretty much two by six construction and that's what I could fit, so. Uh, Holds heat pretty good though. 
You know, the tent on the ceiling probably reflects some of the heat back down. A lot of times these unit heaters don't, the fans don't even come on. It stays warm enough just by the uh, radiant heat through the PEX pipes while wow, that pump's circulating through here. But, uh, plenty warm enough to work in. One thing I forgot to mention is that's about 1,200 square foot of shop space that I'm heating. And like I said, all our, our, all our 19 uh, insulation and the house is spray foam insulation and it's about 2,000 square feet. So just to give you an idea of how much I'm actually uh, keeping warm. The house I keep at right around 71 in the downstairs and 69 or so upstairs. So. All right, I went down, ran to the hardware store, a couple other errands. It's been 18 hours now. And I'm gonna let it keep going. It doesn't look a whole lot different than when I left it. And I know the water's up to temp because the uh, blower fan is not running, so. It's 160, which is my set point. So I'm gonna let it go another couple hours. We're gonna get probably 20 hour, maybe uh, 22 hours, I don't know. So I got some work to do in here and we'll check back in a little bit. All right, it is noon. I'm guessing this thing's throw some wood in there so we essentially got 19 and a half hours out of it um water temps about 150 so the fan probably just picked on it, it would probably you know bring it back up to 160 with what's in there and maybe get another hour maybe two out of it but uh, I'll, I'll call that good enough so 20 hours uh, almost a full 24 hour burn and it was single digits all last night and into this morning um with, like i said i think the average temperature was around 15 or 16 degrees over the past 20 hours so um that's pretty good now i do want to note that you know my boiler is in in the shop here and generally that's been keeping it almost you know 40 degrees in here well it has been keeping at about 40 degrees so um, I'm really only keeping when I heat this shop and I have it set at 50 I'm really only you know heating this 10 degrees uh, warmer than it would normally stay so um, but if that was outside uh, you know in the cold and it wasn't radiating this heat off of it and filling this space um, I think that the boiler would have to work quite a bit harder to heat this garage up because then the shop is going to be pretty much whatever your ambient temperature is outside um, so if it's uh, you know 10 degrees outside it's going to stay a little warmer in here uh, just because it's insulated and warms up during the day and it holds some of that heat so it'd probably be like 20 something in here but uh there you have it so i'm gonna fill this thing up and uh go work on something else <sighs> i just wanted to show you guys real quick you could see there was very few coals left in there and i threw that wood in there probably five minutes ago maybe 10 and it's already up in flames so it doesn't take much to get the uh, wood caught if you have a few embers in there um, and you got dry wood it'll almost always just uh, light back up so just thought it was interesting 